As you can see, today of the Terror Zone, we are expecting a very special animal specimen. A dog. This Today's Terror Zone will star this type of animal. As we see in his first state. Wait. Wait, are you talking about me? Red? Why, of course, Tyler. Why, today, in the Terror Zone, the story is about a dog just like you. Really? And what Disney movie are we talking about here? Or what story are we talking about here? The Shaggy Dog. Oh my gosh, I love that movie. Yeah, it so happens that Disney loosely based the story on The Hound of Florence. Which is a book? Yes. The Shaggy Dog was loosely based on this particular book. Which I will tell you the real story of the Shaggy Dog by this interpretation of the story. Interesting. And it so happens that this is the same author as Bambi. <gasps> Two Disney movies that are made by the same person the price of one? How exciting! You could say that the Shaggy Dog is a modern version of the story. So we're going to take a look at this loosely based story of the Shaggy Dog and see how it differs from the movie to the book. In case you don't know about the movie, the movie is about different remakes. The movie is certainly about a human being, whether it's about a teenager or a man turning into a dog. And having to work daily life by being a dog, juggling being a dog and a human. It's mostly based on the old story, which we'll get we'll to touch on first, because I only know about the older story. The remake touches on Tim Allen turning to a dog. So I guess it's just him being an office worker and having him to turn into a dog. It's mostly like Santa Claus, where he slowly turns into Santa Claus. But instead, he just turns into, well, a shaggy dog. He doesn't switch from place to place. He just turns into, well, shaggy dog, just like, just like the Santa Claus, pretty much. Yeah, he just slowly turns into a dog, basically. Yeah, and does dog doggy dog things. I can't listen much about a re. I can't really say about that much about the reboot version, but if you want me to cover that in a movie, in, an, in a different video, tell me in the comments below. But for now, we'll talk about the older version of the Shaggy Dog and how that differs from the book, The, the Hound of Florence. So, in the older movie, Black and White, it's about a teenager named Daniel, named, will you be Daniels, as he finds a ring in a museum that transforms him into a dog. And throughout the whole movie, you can see him transform into the dog, and the dog act the dog that he transforms in into is actually belongs to a girl next door who is rich and French, who lives with her lives with her mansion along with her butlers and workers who work for her. The dog Willoughby actually joins in with her and falls in love with her in some places. Surely Every now and then in the movie, they jungle around working out with each other as they, as he juggles life as a dog, living in the rich, living in the rich girl's house, and having to be a human as a, as a boy. There's some jokes here and there, like his little brother trying to take him as a pet, and other things like that. But fortunately, it's just him being a dog once in a while, doing some shenanigans until the final act. And what is the final act meant to be? Well, it turns out, turns out the rich girl's butler of the the group, they go on they go on strike. And for that, they decide to take a crime and taking some of their money away. It turns out it was all a it was all a ruse, basically, to get her money. <gasps> How shocking. Willoughby hears this as a dog, not knowing it was him, decides to help out and tries to warn everybody. Like telling his family and having to get to the bottom of this. She eventually, she eventually, the rich girl finally finds out and ends up, then, ends up her falling in the river. Willoughby saves her, at, saves him as a dog without knowingly that it was him. She thinks it's just her pet dog that saved her life instead and blames it all on him. While the other, while the Willie B fights over his best friend getting the girl as well. But, it's granted that he won, so that he saved the day. So neither way is fine, you could say. And it ends with the dog being a hero. 
But they eventually decided to sell a dog to the to Daniel's family, and they decided to keep him as their as their own as their pet. And then the rich girl moves out and goes back to her original home. So that's the story of the um, original Shaggy Dog story. Sure, there are some there are some like there are some different shenanigans here and there, like her going like him going to the prom with her, meaning of the whole set altogether. There's also a part where um the dad gets into a gets into um a sane asylum and has to tell his has to tell his the police that he thinks that his son is a dog. He thinks he's insane because he thinks his son is a dog, and really, that is the truth. It's kind of dark to say the least. Yeah, he's trying to tell the truth while they're kind of thinking he's crazy, which is kind of nuts when you think about it. Yeah, it's a dark scene when you look at it. It's sort of like what happens in the elf mobile, the mobile, which we'll get to in another story. But anyway, um, want to get into the Hound of Florence? Sure. So the Hound of Florence is about this poor boy who lost his parents and now has to live with, well, his grandparents in poor poverty. It's kind of sad to see, kind of considering. But he does dream of looking into the art of Florence as he looks around the town of Italy and Ver- he lives in Virginia. But as he looks around in Italy, he sees all the art and everything. He's so memorized by it, but he want his dream is to look around the art and make his own art and become a famous artist. But there is a problem. He can't cut these poor. But he dream- but one day he sees the coachman. He sees the, he sees the coach with with or this archduke with this very prized noble dog. You see, the Archduke belongs to a rich dog, just like the other movie I mentioned before in the Shaggy Dog. But it's a rich home with a dog. The Arch, the Archduke's pride, pride of the family is the dog, the Collie, and he's mostly prized. As legend as he was, he was rich and treated fairly and nice. Luke. Lucas, the na- the main character of the story, sees this dog and how he's pampered and treated nicely. He sees how rich the family is, and he must think that the dog lives in a nice place and must have a nice home. He wishes that he could have a nice home like him instead of being so poor. He can have a rich house like that and be treated nicely and taken care of and being pampered for and treated kind like. As if he can, he had all the money in the world, and he could be art. He can do on the, he can go anywhere he want to, or any want where he wanted to. Their prized collie was like that. It was treated so fairly. He wished he could be as rich as that dog and cared for as the dog, and being more in the fine life, you as you could say, yeah, being more of the easy street type of way, yeah, where he can be rich and taken cared for and proper nicely. And she can be rich. One day, his dream actually comes true. <gasps> really? Yep. He gets to be an artist, but there's a catch. <gasps> What's the catch? Every other day, he has to be that dog, the collie, in the rich family's home. <gasps> really? Yep. So, one day, he is the, he is the famous artist, in Italy, getting all the art he can. And the next day, he is the dog, transforming into him as the collie, working in the rich home. Now, at first, Luca actually loves this. He loves getting pampered with, and of course, he's very happy to be a rich dog in a rich home and in a nice, fine place. But then, it starts to take a dark turn, where, well, the, like, you, like I said in the movie, the Archduke, is actually a bad guy here. <gasps> yes, no kidding. He actually treats the dog very poorly. And actually, well, this could be animal harassment, you could say. He doesn't really treat the dog real well, let's just put it that way. He's actually not nice to the dog at all. Let's put it that way. That's terrible. I know. And he could, he, you could see that he regrets, you could see as he goes along, he kind of regrets his wish. Because he doesn't want to be treated so badly in, in an unnice home like, 
like what he's being treated as a dog. So it's just kind of horrible to watch. Well, I mean, like, you don't get to watch it. It's in a book, really. But you can, you can imagine how horrible it must be for him to be treated so badly. Yeah, it's like animal harassment. You could say that, yeah. And, well... And, well... I like to say right now that this is how it is in the book, mostly. And... We'll have to, we're going to go quickly towards the end. Because that's pretty much all we could find out towards the book. So, the book ends with two different endings, actually. Two different endings? Yes. So, this is the German, so this, so this is a German version of the tale. So, the author did a German version. And when it went to, went to English, it went, it went a different version. So, first it went to Germany. And... Well, of course, they had the dark, they had the dark ending. The dark ending? Oh, no! What's the dark ending? Well, let's start with the dark ending first, with the German version. The German version, it ends in tragedy as the dog, as the dog, quote-unquote, Luca is stabbed to death. <gasps> You're kidding! I am not kidding. So, the art, the... <sighs> The Archduke goes nuts, and of course, like you, like I told you in the movie, he has a he has a he has a secret crime to commit, where he decides to to steal all the money from the rich home, and goes off and do a crime. But before doing that, the dog catches him, I think, in this particular book. And what happens is that he stabs him to death, so he wouldn't find out. So the dog wouldn't go on telling anyone about it. Mmm. Does he know he turns into a dog? I don't think he knew, but he knew that the dog would follow him and warn them, like, barking at him. So, he stabs him to death so he wouldn't find out. That is just horrible, with a, not, with a dagger, no less. Oh, that's tragedy right there. Yeah, but fortunately, but fortunately this won't last long, because the English version changes the ending. Oh, good. So, what's the original end? So, what's the English ending? The English ending ends with the ends with ends with Luca recovering from this from this instance and getting medicine and returning back to his original poor stable life and not wishing for any more or less. So it basically the story it basically the lesson is here is be careful what you wish for. Yeah, basically yeah, that's basically the lesson of this story basically. So what do you think of the original tale of the Shaggy Dog? It's interesting, dark, kind of serious, but you can see the similarities kind of lie. Yeah, like I said, the shaggy dog is more of a modern take of this particular story. So take whatever that as you will. So that is our story of the Terror Zone. Thanks for, thanks for joining us for today on the dark side of the Disney tales. I hope you enjoyed this dark version of the Shaggy Dog. If you want me to talk more about the Shaggy Dog, I'll tell you the review of the remake. But anyway, it's pretty much the same thing. Yeah. And I hope you enjoyed Tyler being a guest star on this show. Thank you for joining us on this show, Tyler. Always happy to help on your dark stories, Red. And we'll see you next time on The Terror Zone.